welcome back to Movie Shortens. Follow us today to a 2000 American survival thriller film called Vertical Limit. Before we start, be aware, there are spoilers. The movie opens with a scene of an eagle soaring through Monument Valley in the US. Peter is taking photographs. He is climbing a mountain with a team that includes his sister Annie and his father. Annie and Peter are singing songs and trying to guess the title, artist, and the year. Their father is giving Annie a lecture about climbing safety when suddenly the amateur climbers above them fall to their death, dragging the family off the mountain face. Annie's cam is the only one holding them up, but her father realizes that it can't hold them all. He instructs Peter to cut the rope and let him fall in order to save Peter and his sister. They argue, but eventually Peter does it and his father's stricken body hits the ground. Three years later in the lower Himalayas, Peter is photographing some big cats fighting in the snow. Whilst trekking, his porter is distracted by some thunder and he trips, injuring his leg on a rock. He is taken away by helicopter where the pilot tells him that his sister arrived last week. He explains that Annie is leading a documentary crew up the mountain. This crew belongs to the billionaire Elliot Vaughn who escaped death four years ago when he was a part of a team that tried to scale the south face. They got 800 meters from the summit when the weather closed in. They spent 24 hours in the death zone, but the next morning Vaughn walked down the mountain. He is deemed to be a bloody good climber. The helicopter lands amongst a lot of tents and people. Annie is being told about an imminent cyclone when Peter walks into her tent. Annie seems surprised to see him and Pete says that their father would be proud of her. Annie's team plans to leave the following day. Peter questions Annie about Vaughn's motivations. Away from the main group, we are introduced to two brothers, Malcolm and Cyril, who are sitting drinking, naked in the snow, as two helicopters fly overhead. People clamor to see the new arrivals, Vaughn and his team. He is welcomed by Frank, a veteran climber who has climbed the mountain five times already. Peter enters a tent looking for the base commander, Skip. Instead, he meets Monique, who is going through letters and seems rather frustrated. She is the base camp manager and a medic. She directs Peter outside where he meets Skip, he tells Peter that Vaughn is climbing to a deadline as he is launching a new airline called Majestic Air and wants to stand at the top of K2 as the inaugural flight passes overhead. Skip is a little frustrated as he has the job to guide the producer up the mountain. That night, there is a huge party. Vaughn interrupts to make a speech outlining his plans and introducing his guide, Tom McLaren. However, he is interrupted by a strange old man warning about the weather up the mountain. Vaughn is confident in Tom's ability, and the party continues. The following day, we see the old man walk away up the mountain alone. Annie is on her computer when Peter enters. They discuss the old man, Montgomery Wick, a seasoned climber who managed to reach the summit in 24 hours. We learn that after their father's death, Peter didn't climb again or visit his grave. Annie continues to climb in order to feel closer to him. Vaughn sets off in a helicopter with Tom and a porter named Ali. Ali is saying goodbye to his brother, Karim. Annie leaves in the second helicopter as Peter watches. Peter then helps Skip load a third helicopter as Skip assures him that his sister will be okay. Later that day as Vaughn and his team are climbing, Tom looks nervously towards the peak as he realizes that the weather is getting bad. Vaughn, with Annie's agreement, insists on continuing. Peter is ready to leave. Frank is in the monitoring station realizing that the weather is getting bad. Peter demands to know why they are not turning back. Frank uses the radio to contact Tom to tell him to turn back, but Vaughn still insists on continuing. A short time later, the weather is really bad and Annie slips down a crevice, dragging the rest of the team along. Tom manages to stop them using his axe. Everyone is okay, but suddenly there's an avalanche. Vaughn falls down the crevice with Annie, and as snow thunders towards him, Tom also jumps down into the crevice. The rest of the team are killed in the avalanche, but Vaughn, Annie, and Tom are buried in a cave. Tom is badly injured and the radios have really poor reception. Peter suddenly has the idea to send a message using Morse code as his father made them learn it as kids. Peter explains the situation to the people at base camp and they all cheer for the survivors. Kareem is sad as he realizes that his brother Ali is probably dead. Peter proposes a rescue team but is met with little enthusiasm. Skip explains that it's crazy to mount a rescue as there is probably only a 36 hour window to save him. Peter remembers that Montgomery Wick made it up the mountain in 24 hours. They go to meet Colonel Salim, who unlocks a case of highly explosive nitroglycerin for them to take up the mountain to help them with the rescue. He reminds them that this is not authorized by the Pakistani government and turns to leave. Skip is about to take a canister when Major Rasul realizes 
that a container has leaked over Skip's boot. They carefully remove his boot and throw it far into the snow. The nitroglycerin-covered boot then explodes on contact with the ground. Meanwhile, Peter addresses the crowd. He wants four more people to make a team with him and Skip. Kareem, Malcolm, and Cyril agree to join him. Up the mountain, we see that Tom is seriously ill. Vaughn lays out a schedule for survival, including when they will drink the water and inject themselves with a drug called Dex. Their last known coordinates are sent to the rescue team. Skip and Peter try to make a plan, but realize they will need help from Wick. He was a part of the rescue team four years ago, but his wife was in that group and he was unable to find her. He often goes up the mountain to this day looking for her body. The group of five leave with three containers of nitroglycerin. As they enter the helicopter, Monique is waiting for them and will also join them. Annie and Vaughn discuss Tom's condition. Vaughn drops some supplies but spots a backpack down a crevice. The helicopter lands near Wick's tent, but he is not interested in helping. When Skip tells him that Vaughn's people are paying $500,000 to anyone willing to join the rescue team, he is convinced, but he wants Skip to return to base camp as he wants someone there that he can trust. Although Skip protests, he does agree. The team is split into three groups of two who will all take different routes. The helicopter takes the team as high as it can until the weather is too bad. They begin to jump from the helicopter. Peter and Wick are last as the helicopter encounters engine trouble. They slip and only just manage to hold on. Wick saves Peter from falling. They all manage to jump to safety and the helicopter flies away. Tom's condition is deteriorating rapidly. Annie wants to inject him with Dex now, but Vaughn insists that they stick to the schedule as he thinks that Tom is a lost cause. Annie insists that Vaughn go tell him. Tom thinks that he is asking him to die, but Vaughn says that he is condemning him and Annie to death otherwise. Malcolm and Kareem are taking one path up the mountain. Kareem stops to pray to Allah, whilst Malcolm scoffs. At base camp, Skip radios Wick informing him that they have 48 hours of good weather. Wick is climbing with Peter and tells him that he needs to climb faster. A brief argument ensues and Wick almost threatens to go back. Peter nearly falls and Wick saves him. He tells Peter that he did the right thing by cutting his father's rope. Reconciled, they continue. Vaughn notices that Annie is bleeding and is contracting edema. He then tells Wick to inform Peter about it. That will make him go faster. Tom tells Vaughn that Annie should have some decks, but again, he insists on sticking to the schedule. Annie tells Vaughn that if they want to survive, they need to retrieve the backpack that they saw earlier. Monique and Cyro are climbing together. He slips in the snow but manages to use his axe to stop himself falling off a cliff. Monique races to help him, but the cliff edge is starting to break. Monique manages to hook his axe with some rope just as the cliff breaks. Now, her axe is holding them both to the side of the cliff. She swings so that Ciro can reach a ledge, and after some attempts, he reaches safety, but the container of nitroglycerin falls from his pack. They hurriedly try to climb the cliff face, but as the nitroglycerin hits the ground, it explodes and causes a landslide. Inside the cave, the explosion causes Annie to fall, but Vaughn catches her. Monique is calling for Ciro, and he appears at the top of the cliff face. He has managed to climb out. However, the explosion causes an avalanche and he has swept off the cliff to his death. Peter wants to go back to help them, but Wick believes that they could be dead. Annie, however, is not. Annie has retrieved the pack. It belonged to Kareem's brother, Ali. She uses the decks in his pack for herself and Tom as Vaughn looks on disapprovingly. Monique continues to climb the cliff face. She meets up with Peter who helps to set the bones in her broken finger. Malcolm is distraught that his brother could be dead, but he elects to continue anyway. At base camp, we see some nitroglycerin that has been left exposed to the sunlight. It then explodes violently, killing Colonel Salim. Skip radios the team with the news. Peter's team gets the nitroglycerin into the shade. Monique tries to radio Malcolm, but their radio is switched off. Peter tries to find them, and they finally get the message. However, in their race to get their nitroglycerin into the shade, they do not realize that the container has cracked. The nitroglycerin leaks down through the snow into the sunlight and explodes, causing an avalanche. A body is uncovered. That is Wick's wife. Wick reveals that she was on Vaughn's team on his previous expedition. When he finds that her supply of decks is missing, he realizes that Vaughn must have stolen it for himself and caused her death. Peter realizes that Wick is looking for revenge. That night, Annie radios Peter and tells him that there is no hope and he should go back. They share a tender moment as Monique listens in. Later, while Annie rests, Vaughn injects himself with decks and then murders Tom. The next morning, Wick is ready to leave, but finds that Peter and Monique have already left without him. Annie discovers that Tom is dead and attacks Vaughn. This causes some snow to fall, and a gap is revealed to the surface above them. 
They attempt to pass something through the gap to attract attention to the rescue group. Vaughn drains some of Tom's blood into a bag which they send up and it explodes onto the snow above them. Peter and Monique see the blood on the snow and drop a note down the gap, warning them that there will be an explosion. They pour some nitroglycerin and set a detonator. The explosion widens the gap and a rope system is set up to pull Annie through the hole. By now she is almost unconscious and they almost drop her, but Wick arrives just in time to secure Peter and Monique. Wick goes down into the cave to confront Vaughn who tries to attack him with an axe. He nearly falls but Wick saves him and attaches him to his rope for safety. They continue to try to pull Annie up to safety but the equipment becomes loose and they all nearly slide into the crevice. Wick cuts the rope and he and Vaughn plunge to their death, allowing the others to escape. Some hours later at base camp, Monique is attending to Annie. She kisses Peter and leaves him to reconcile with the sister. The movie ends with Peter paying his respects to those who died on K2, including Montgomery Wick and his wife, brothers Kareem, Ali, and Tom, Malcolm, and Cyril. Like and subscribe to watch more videos like this, and don't forget to turn on your notifications. That really helps my channel. Thanks for watching.